Matthias Grote, when you listen to the head of the EU Commission, Jean-Claude um, Juncker, and he mentioned something about the impact of uh, the refugees or the asyl seekers um, coming to Europe. What, do you, what were your thoughts? We will see Europe will not be the same because millions of, millions of refugees will come. But we have a demographic problem in the European Union and we have to solve the problem and so refugees are welcome and we need refugees, but we need in legal way. First, asyl, it's in, it's, in, uh, uh, it's in the European Charter of the Human Rights. It's totally clear. But we need also package for, for a legal ground, a legal base for migration. And Juncker proposes today, 2016, the Commission will come with a migration package. But which kind of impact will that have to Europe as such? Uh, and I'm not talking about people welcoming uh, refugees or not welcoming. What kind of impacts could you foresee? Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, in some sectors, uh, industry sectors, we have uh, problems because we have no employees any, anymore. And also I'm from Germany, the German industry, Mr. Sechke from, from Mercedes-Benz and others also from, from DHL, uh, German, the German Post. They are searching for uh, new employees and uh, they want to give the refugees uh, jobs. And uh, I guess it's necessary that they, from the beginning, that they can work, that they can uh, uh, care for themselves to earn money with jobs. And uh, it's a good way. And it's a really completely shift when you compare to the 90s, where we had really major discussions where they're not allowed to work. And there's a shift. And I must say, I'm really proud that uh, Mr. Juncker holds this speech today in the plenary in really silent speech and not an euphoric speech because he said also Europe is not in a good shape. Now, we are not in a good shape. Uh, we have this problem with, with Hungary. Not only the uh, f freedom of the speech, but also that they are not respecting European law and uh, all other member states, also Germany, in different, in different uh, sectors. So that the Commission, they started with different court cases. They, went to, they go to court and, uh, because member states are not fulfilling European law. And I hope there's a shift. And um, it was a very good speech, a long speech, but not boring speech. And I guess also for the conservatives in the parliament, it was hard to listen 80 minutes to hear really the truth. And uh, he started with a speech uh, that we not, social democrats has not to count how often he said social or uh, the conservatives, how often he said we have to uh, look on, on, the, on our budgets and to save money. Uh, it was a really, really good speech, I must say, a historical speech. He mentioned uh, the uh, impact of climate changes on the flow of migrations. Yes, he did it and uh, was also a surprise for me because before Laurent Fabius, Laurent Fabius was it, the foreign affairs minister from France, who started the debate, and also Frank-Walter Steinmeier, since two years, uh, that we expect, if we not change our politics uh, worldwide on climate, we gaining more and more climate refugees in the end of the day. And this is a process uh, where we have to act, where we, we have to slow down uh, climate climate change and which adaptation things we have to adopt adopt and I hope that the whole issue of climate refugees is one part in the climate conference in Paris because we are responsible but the whole world is responsible also the Arab Arabic world and uh, China and the US we have to act now because climate refugees are the next refugees who will come.